Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, let's cover the crease tool. When we subdivide a cube primitive, it's just gonna collapse. Just hit free for smooth preview. And that's gonna happen because we have no supporting edges. We could, of course, go ahead and add some extra edges, like with the multi-cut tool, for example. Here, there, yeah, something like this. And now when we smooth, you're gonna see that we get edges which are supported. The not so great thing about doing this is that the more edges we add, and the more resolution, the harder it becomes to make changes, as there's more things to kind of think about. I must admit a cube isn't the best example as it's not very complex, but if you're interested, you can check out my other video, which goes into much more detail. Just gonna undo those edge loops. And now I will just go ahead and select all these edges on the cube. We can get to this tool by going to mesh tools, crease tool, and then click in the little options box. We get very few options and by default, the mode is set to absolute. The difference between absolute and relative is that relative respects any pre-existing creases you might have applied to an edge and sort of just adjusts them rather than giving them a new absolute value. For this, let's just go ahead and leave the tool at the defaults. To make changes to our edges, we can actually just hold the middle mouse button and drag left to right. If you just head on down to the bottom left in the help line, you can notice that we get a nice live update of our crease set values. So once we've kind of set it, we can go ahead and hit free for smooth preview and notice how all the edges are held nicely. You might get some artifacts and all we need to do is to increase the subdivisions, which you can do so by pressing page up and page down in free mode to adjust the number of subdivisions being applied. And if you're getting a few more errors, you can always add a few more edge loops, but don't go crazy as at this point, it's key to keep things minimal. I have another tutorial on crease sets and how to use them to quickly prototype. You can check out that video if you're interested, but you can see in this example how easy it is to make changes. This has been a quick rundown of the basics of this tool. And like I said, check out my other video for a deeper look at some of Maya's crease functionality. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>